Hi everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Today I'm gonna to take you through a Pilates workout using a Pilates bar. So first we're gonna loop those straps over the arches of your feet. Come and collect that bar, placing it to your chest and feet a hip distance apart. From here, moving into our squat. So sending those hips down and back, taking an overhead press with that bar. So keep going, moving into that squat to shoulder press. Inhale as you lower into your squat. Breath out as we press that bar overhead. So keep moving here. We're gonna warm up those legs before we take it down onto the floor and really tug at some small muscles. It's a nice big powerful move on the way up and slow and controlled on the way down. Give me two more here. Press, last one, exhale up. Okay, from here, moving down onto the floor in a four point kneel, we'll set up with those hands slightly forward of your shoulders, moving into a quick cat cow, just to find that neutral spine. So take one more curve, rounding through the spine and then finding neutral in between those two movements. Go ahead and flex your right foot and exhale as you press and extend your leg behind. So a nice big donkey kick, reaching the leg far away, maintaining that neutral spine that you set up. You're going to push down into your hands, into the bar and really resist that strap on the way back in. So again, powerful kick back and slow and controlled as you sweep the knee underneath your hip. Keep moving here, keeping both hips pointing straight down. You've got a couple more reps. Last two and one. From here, leg is staying long. We're lifting the leg up to hip height and tapping the toes back down. Go ahead, lift up and tap down. Breath out, lift, inhale, tap. Keep strong through that upper body and really squeeze the glute when the leg comes up high. So you have 12 reps of each variation here. So keep moving with that straight leg, lightly tapping, leading with that heel to lift. You have three more to go. Last two. And one. Let's lift the leg up, hold it on the next one drawing those abs in tight, and then sweeping the leg to cross behind you to the opposite side of your mat, bringing the leg back to neutral to hip height. So tapping across your body, a little bend through that side torso, and straightening everything back up to neutral. Keep reaching out through that heel, so you've got lots of tension on the band. Good work, keep going here. You've got about four more reps. Swinging that leg around and really reaching that heel up high. Nice, give me one more. And straightening up to neutral, tapping the toe down. Reset, lift the leg up to hip height and little pulse up and up. You can drop down onto your left forearm and we just pulse out through that top leg, feeling that burn a little deeper for the last five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, let's move into a different setup now. We'll lay on the left side, option to grab a cushion, place it underneath your left waist. You'll be moving into stacked hips, stacked shoulders, resting on that left elbow. And then once you have all of that, bringing that top right leg to 90 degrees. We breathe out as we extend the leg away and then inhale, bend the leg back to 90. So really stretching that band and again, resisting on the way back in. Try and stay quite lifted through that supportive left shoulder. As you find that top hip is slightly rolling forward, but your right knee is turning slightly up to the sky. So core is engaged to keep everything stable here. Keep moving, pressing out and in using your breath. Let's go two more here. Press. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch, hold here. Keeping the legs straight, we'll swing it straight forward and straight back. Imagining there's a table there, so you're gonna sweep it on that same level. 
So once you have that option to add some arms in with that right top arm, we're gonna sweep it forward as the leg sweeps back, reaching the arm back as the leg sweeps forward. So in opposition, and we can create a little turn through that chest here as well. Trying to keep the heel up in line with your hip though. So feeling a nice, beautiful stretch as the leg comes forward and that strength as the leg sweeps back into your hamstring and glute. Nice, give me one more here. And hold it there, bringing that top arm, elbow to knee, frog press. Exhale, reach and turn your eye gaze to face the bar. So tap the elbow to knee and then twist and look at that bar. Crunching down through that side waist, a little lift up as you reach the leg and arm away. So keep going here. You might need to put a little bit more tension on that left arm on the bar and moving it away from you. If that gets too much with that top arm, just keep both hands pressing down into the bar, focusing on that turnout through the knee with your toes pointing up to the sky. So keeping that external rotation. This move really gets into that side glute meat. You've got three more here. Bend, stretch the leg, last two. And stretch. And last one, holding the leg long, moving into a straight leg pulse. So leg is up in line with your hip and lift it up a few inches and then back to hip height. You can come and rest down onto your left elbow. Okay, this is the last variation on this side. You're going to give me two more. Exhale up and down, last lift and lower. Well done. Let's take it to standing. We have a second round of squats, but this time place the bar behind your head so the bar rests along the shoulders. Feet are wide, tensioning on that band, and then break at the hips, lower into that squat to overhead press. Inhale, lower, breath out, press the bar strong over the shoulders. Nice, so keep moving here. Powerful press up and take it down a little slower. Knees driving wide, of course, push down into those heels. You have just over 20 seconds to go here. Last two. And one, awesome. Let's take it down onto the floor, four point kneeling, second side, getting ready for our donkey kicks. So you're going to take a nice big cat cow here, resetting that entire spine, moving those hands slightly forward of your shoulders so you have enough tension on the band. Find that neutral spine, pause there, and flex your left foot now as we reach back through that heel. Again, squaring off the hips. Find that big juicy squeeze in that top range, controlling the knee to sweep underneath. Last two here. And last one. Good, from here, extend the leg long. Toe to the floor, straight leg lift. Exhale up and inhale, tap the floor. Good, for two. Lift for three. Tap and four. Tap, squeeze it up and down. We have six, halfway seven and lift eight nine keep tension on that band push down into your hands last two to go we have last one and then keeping the legs straight bring it up to hip height again crossing over your body tapping to the opposite mat and then returning so a little semicircle back to hip height and then tap the mat across your right side. 
So maybe your eyes are following your toes here. So we get a little curve through the torso, really rounding out through the glutes. Last five, lift, tap for four. Take it around and three, tap and two. Last one, lifting the leg up, hold it there. Little lift up and down. We squeeze up and up and up. Keep going, squeeze, reach. Last, three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. Okay, time to lay on your right side. You're gonna grab that cushion if you're using it to place underneath your underside rib. So laying down on that right elbow, we'll be moving through that top left leg. We have a 90 degree bend and stretching that leg. So set up with those hips square, shoulders square. And once you have that, we have 12 reps, reaching out through the heel, bending into 90 degrees. So you're gonna use that right hand and forearm to push the bar away. And if you need more support, use that top arm as well to anchor that bar down. Good, give me one more here. Keeping the legs straight, we sweep it forward and then reach the leg back. Taking it along that horizontal line and adding in that arm when you're ready. If the arm gets too much, of course, just anchor down that bar instead. Feeling that beautiful little swivel through the ribs, making it a little bit more delicious through the spine, enjoying that full extension through the hip to really target your glutes. Let's go three more sweeps, big long lines for two and one frog press. Let's turn the toes up so your knee floats up. We tap and then reach and turn. So crunch in through that side waist and then really lift up away from your cushion as you reach out through the fingertips. Remembering you can use that top arm instead to push down into that bar. Just keep the toes and knees pointing up to the sky. We have three more. And two. And one. Awesome work. Let's tap it out quickly and then extend that top leg, resting down a little lower if you wish. Straight leg lift and lift up and down. Again, reaching out through that heel, drawing your belly button to hug your spine. Let's go, last one here. And then one last finisher. Good, keep stretching that leg long all the way. And last two. And one. Well done, tap it out and move into our standing position. We have those squats, third round, and then you are done. So feet wider than your hips. Take the bar to your chest, straight into that squat to shoulder press. At half time, we'll take the bar behind your head. So begin here at your chest and then shoulder press up. One more here. Hold it at the top, take the bar behind your head. Let's continue with those squats to shoulder press, returning the bar behind your shoulders each time. Knees driving wide. This is your last couple of reps. Keep that pace going. Good, last two. 
and one. Well done, guys. That was your lower body focus Pilates bar workout. I hope that you enjoyed. Please like this video if you did. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you back for our next workout together really soon. My name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic.